Welcome back to Autism Live. We're really excited. I got a house full of fabulous men here in the studio <laughs> with me right now. Yeah. We're joined by Spec Labs or Spectrum Laboratory. You guys mm -hmm. go by both, yes? We go by both. Spectrum Laboratory, but Spec Labs for short. Okay. Yeah. And so Jason Weisbrod, am I saying it right? Yeah, you got it right. Jason, uh, <laughs> no, 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 you're Jason. Garth Herberg. That's it. Yeah. And Don, Bob DeMarco. I keep saying Don DeMarco. Just call me whatever you want. Well, <laughs> I, I tell you, it's, uh, I, I have some timers. Um, but in any case, I love you guys. And more importantly, I love the work that you do and the work that you do with our community. And you've been doing some pretty amazing stuff. And we've been wanting to have you guys come back in uh, for a long time because you're always doing something new and fabulous. Yeah. So tell us what you've been working on and what's, what are some things that people need to be checking out right now. Um, yeah, on our website, www.speclabs.org, we have a ton of media and content to look at. We have... How many music videos do we have up there? I Dozens. <laughs> I think <laughs> like over 20 music videos, a bunch of short films. We have a web series with Atticus and Atticus, two of our actors. Um, we do green screen improv where a bunch of our student artists get to act out their favorite characters in front of a green screen. And it's just a bunch of fun content that they can see there. And we're starting up our new round of classes next week. On August 21st, we start our next round of classes. And talk to us a little bit about what the classes are and how that leads to this creative powerhouse that you guys have, have made happen. What, what mm -hmm. happens in the classes? So on the film side, I'll talk about the film side. What we do is we create um, mini green screen projects, which is a character creation. And then on top of character creation, I have um, the students write their own characters, they fill out character backgrounds, they really get into um, you know, who they are, what character they're going to be playing, and then we write a monologue, we perform it in front of a green screen, and then we take these characters and we do a group class short film. So we create a short film with the whole class, I give them jobs on the short film, so they're holding boom, they're doing camera, they're, some kids are editing now, um, some are uh, even doing sound, working on sound. Um, Atticus Calger, one of our uh, actors, did the score for mm -hmm. our last uh, short film, Atticus and Atticus. So we're really getting them involved in all process of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. And then we also have an acting improv class where it's just get together, UCB, groundlings, that kind of a team, getting together, joking, laughing, doing yes anding, improv techniques, and trying to form um, like the Asperger's R Us guys did, yeah. you know, try to form an improv team and have fun and then actually see if we can go out to some comedy clubs and do it around town. Wonderful. So that's on the acting side and then... Yeah, and then uh, the music department's been growing a lot. So now we're taking on students, like all ages, all abilities, starting with our, we have a music explorer class that's like an intro to drumming and music, um, working with younger kids. We just we're starting a composition class that can work with really young kids up to adults, um, learning the techniques of composing in a variety of styles of music. And then um, the thing we've been doing since the start is making full length albums. So we have a couple classes that help with that. We have a music production and songwriting class and also a singing class. And students in those different programs, um, they work on learning repertoire, helping to create original music, writing lyrics. We now have several students that are producing music, helping us um, We've got compose. some pictures that we're showing too. Oh we yeah, that's the band right things. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, we also have a band. We have a yeah, live have a band, band. <laughs> spec band. Yeah, so it's really, it's, it's really a big program and students with a lot of different interests in music have a way in whichever way they're interested. Oh, and off of that picture right there, what we do is at the end of our uh, year, we have a huge festival, a music and film festival and uh, called SpecFest. And this past year, we actually now have animation as yeah. part of our program. And Danny Bowman, who's been on here yes. a bunch of times, uh, she leads our animation department. Yeah. She teaches the class, so we actually hired um, you know, she's an inspiration to everyone, but she's teaching animation to young people on the spectrum. She's an autism advocate herself. She's on the spectrum. So one of the things we're really trying to bring to Spectrum Laboratory is we're going to keep hiring and trying to get jobs for a bunch of our students to work on these pieces. When we first started, Garth and I were, and Bob <laughs> were just making a bunch of the behind the scenes stuff. And then just to get it out there, but now we're really focusing on getting everybody involved, like making yeah. it a whole team effort and teaching them the jobs and the skills how to 
to do more behind mm -hmm. the scenes stuff, like making the beats for the songs and editing the films and yeah, stuff we've, like we've that. We've actually, we've hired a lot of students so yeah. far for different projects. Um, so it's, so far it's been more part-time per project, but yeah, that's the big aspiration is to get our students, a lot of our students to a, a place where they're professional, they're capable of, you know, taking projects, letting us hand it off to them and they can come back and deliver wonderful results. Yeah. So often parents say, you know, there's this Temple Grandin thing about, you know, well, she found her niche. She found the thing that she was good at. And we see this savant doing this and we see this savant doing that. How do I find my kid's thing? Yeah. And I, you know, I always say, well, you know, sometimes these things just bubble up. But I have seen kids that you, young people that you guys have worked with, young adults that you have worked with, and I think that you have a way of making it bubble up to the top faster. That I think you guys have a gift for seeing and feeding and flourishing whatever that something special is. And that it, you've, I think then you find that there are many more things, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that oh, it's yeah, not like, just one thing that the kid can do, that there are many yeah. things yeah. that they can do. Yeah, some kids will come in saying, oh, I, I can't do any music at all. Music is, you know, I just want to do acting. And then, like the second year, they're in the recording <laughs> studio singing, you know, like on the microphone. And we're like, we never saw that coming. So there's definitely a lot of different. I think one of the things in our our mission is, you know, we're educating, we're entertaining, but we're empowering them to yes. find their passions, to find their desires. So they may come in thinking, oh, you know, I'll never sing. But then after they see their peers and their friends and see that, you know, we make records, they're like, I want to be on a record. And then yeah, all why, of a sudden, why not? <laughs> yeah, why yeah, not? And and they, I think that's the thing that we that we do. It's it's even even more than us as as, as people. It's it's the we make it accessible. Yeah. So we provide for an environment where it can happen, where all of these things that, you know, before were never really on the radar. Yeah. It's now, you know, what do you feel like doing? And, you know, Bob is a huge part of that too. On the, on the music side, we've been able to give just incredible experiences of working in the studio. Do you want to talk to that about what you've been doing on the music yeah. side? Well, you know, I was a big fan of these guys from the start. Yeah. And I was a volunteer. I volunteered my studio and music production and started working right from the beginning, from the first record. And I just fell in love with working with these guys and the kids. And um, it's really about exposure. Yeah. You know, we don't know what we love until we're exposed to something that could potentially, we could potentially fall in love with. And that happened to all of us as we were young. It's no different. But now we're just trying to create more exposure and more accessibility to these things. And it's like what Temple Grandin said. You have to, how do you know what you love until you get out there and experience things? Yeah. And that's what's beautiful about this program which I just fell in love with absolutely and, yeah. but for parents who don't know how to do it on their own this is a, a great place to do it is to sign them up for a class now we're talking yeah. about in Southern California yeah and, and uh, right now we're just in Los Angeles but we're definitely working on trying to expand so if there's people out there who have really want a program like this in the area contact us because we're trying to expand and see how we can make it. Um, I also do mentorships. Some of our teachers do online mentorships. Where so if you so. if you've got a kid that you think has a particular talent and you don't know quite how to feed it, that they can sign up with you to do a mentorship where you, you know, v using the internet and Skype mm -hmm. and things like that, can have conversations with them and with their kids to help their kids to flourish. Certain certain in certain parts of yeah, like script writing is really easy, uh -huh. um, or even editing now because we can. You can send projects and footage back and forth through the internet, so accessible, or animation. You know, there's so there's ways of doing it where if you're not in LA to make it accessible. Okay. But also, one of the big parts, so I can't emphasize enough about what we do, is the community, the yes. parents, the students, them getting together, the par the parents being able to lean on each other and have a, this family connection, yeah. and then all celebrate together. That's a big part of what we do. So I know you you have a lot of thoughts on that as far as I have a lot of thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean I came in and and I thought this is just LA is too limited. This is too good from an outsider, and I have a child on the spectrum, a twelve year old. So I saw this and I was like, this needs to go all over the world. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan right now. We're kind of developing a model that can be in every state, every country. Right. So we're I planning a world that. domination. All right. <laughs> I support you in all these great. We need all the advocates we can get. But, um, but then, yeah, that's part of it. And we're kind of 
working on curriculum now that can be mobile and can Wonderful. you know it can be sat be satellites of this program and because it's so needed it's desperately needed it, it makes so such a needed. difference and it's not so much about creating the fine polished products that we do that will always be la that'll be spec fest and what we do but we're we definitely want to make it more accessible to everyone a lot of people go on our website and they, parents especially will be like well my kid can't do that right and that's not the case and right. you know we, we want to start like demystifying that mm. and saying no you know come to our music explorers class come to the composing class even come to our music class you never know if they have a good voice until they sing i know yeah. spencer hart's been on here and her, oh, they had no clue she Spencer. could sing until she was eight years old singing opera. Right. Um, and, you know, so there's a lot of people. One of our kids, Max, right now, his mom's like, oh, by the way, he has a musical voice. And he, uh, a musical voice. He does. He has a, a beautiful good voice. voice. Yeah. But, uh, we, you know, we didn't know. He was just in our acting class. Yeah. So yeah. there's lots of, like you said, there's, we can keep exploring and finding out, um, yeah. you know, what their talents we are. Really but let's talk, that, let's talk yeah. just a little bit about ability because people want to mm. know, you know, who can really do this because some kids have challenges that are unique to them that the parent goes, ah, there's no way that I can just drop my kid off yeah. Yeah. Um, and do this. Is it is this just for the high-functioning kids? Where where can no. you no, take we've worked, a kid? No, we've worked with all... Um, all different abilities, all different levels, all different, you know, whatever the terms are now. Yeah, because we um, don't like any of the terms, like right? Terms. We don't like I, uh, any of them because they're limiting. Yeah, yeah. and um, I, I think we've worked with yeah. all different abilities. We've worked with people who, you know, who are nonverbal to people who, you know, uh, can write, you know, who can speak in front of a group of people. Mm -hmm. So, um, but what we, what we do is we have different levels of, involvement in classes so it's more about well if they can't sing then maybe we get them on the writing side mm -hmm. so they're writing songs or working on a computer or coming up with beats or on the acting side if they're not really great in front of a camera maybe they like shooting with a camera right so we're trying to explore way more avenues of opening to everybody now with animation is a big thing yeah um you and know because very person-centered yeah. You know, it really has to, like we, right. like in all avenues of education and experience and to become as much person-centered for each kid coming in yeah. and just so they can be exposed and explore, do I like this? Is this for me? And most of these kids just eat it up. They flourish. Yeah, absolutely. And you see that they have a community. <clears throat> I think that, as you said, that's, that's a really important thing. All of the young people that are in your program, whenever I go someplace, I see them and they are together. They are yeah. together as a group of people and they are you know, laughing and talking and participating with each other. Yeah. And you never see somebody who's like off on their own by themselves. They are a family. And who doesn't want that? For, yeah. especially for your teens. And it's for the yeah. for the parents as well. Like, yeah, the moms just got together and went to yeah. some concert I saw. Oh, yeah? The and they didn't know, like, they didn't know each other before Spec Labs. So it's, you know, it's, yeah, and then there's kids having slumber parties and hanging out oh. who didn't know it, like, Brand, Brandon came in first class that didn't want to hang out with anybody and now he's friends with everyone. So there's, like, it's, 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 that's what we love. I mean, that's yeah. one of our favorite parts about it's, it. Is yeah, it's an art program, but that's like one of the, the best benefits is that you're also creating this environment for friendships and, yeah. and to learn just about Social socializing. Yeah, yeah, it's, so very it's social wonderful. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about, you've got these yeah. laying here, but I don't think anybody can see them. So oh, yeah, probably everybody not. grab one and hold one up. These, these are the are CDs. records. We have five. We only have four here. Uh, but we have five total. So we it's the one five. that isn't yeah. here that you want. It's the rare one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. and where can we get these? These are available online. You can find it at um, bandcamp.com. You can also find several of these records on iTunes. Just look up Spectrum Laboratory. Yeah, and they're on iTunes. Or go to our website. You can find the links to the mm -hmm. albums yeah. on speclabs.org. And imagine how cool it is for your teenager to be able to say, oh, this is the CD that I'm on. Come on. That is just like such a cool factor yeah. thing. And who's writing all these songs? It's a collaboration. It's, um, you know, we have some students that are writing a song a week. We have other Amazing. students that are going to spend a lot of, you know, a four-month program working on a song and getting it to a really good place. So it's, it just varies, you know, um, and there's also collaboration from all of us, um, whether it's just adding a musical part or coaching in the studio if it's needed or adding that extra lyric. So it's, it's very much collaboration, but all the students that you see that are listed here have had a part in creating and writing. It's fabulous. The songs. And they also 
receive royalties. Mm. Ah. Yeah. So it becomes it becomes a very vocational thing. Okay, so when you buy right. one of these, know that the, know that, that oh yeah, is gonna, as uh, all of the students, we share all the proceeds with. That was one of the we, when we started Spec Labs. That was a big goal of ours was to yes. give the respect to the artist, and if they do create and they do, you know, put their Love time that. and effort into this to reward them as. As just you know, any artist would, and so yeah, they they share we share the rights. But we can only do it if you buy the records. That's right. You got, you got to buy them. Now, some yeah. of these uh, you take and turn into music videos. I like yes. this one. I'm looking lot, at particularly. Yeah. I I love Chicken Bone and Big Chicken Mouth. Yeah. Uh, Big Mouth makes me howl, and I always send people to that. Uh, yeah, Big Mouth. Big, Big Mouth is, is hilarious yeah. to me. So, um, how do you decide which ones to turn into a music video? How does that happen? That's a good. Oh, I mean, it's question. kind of a. You know, we're trying to figure out, you know, we have a bunch of different people on the film side and on the uh, music side, and so we're trying to give everybody their moments as much as we can. Yeah. So a lot of times it'll be like, okay, well, these people are in this film, so we should make a music video with this person. But then sometimes it just comes out of, like, the idea pops. Right. You know, it's like, oh, well, I can't visual, like, we don't, we can't visualize an idea for that video, so it kind of doesn't flourish, but then some videos will be like, Big Mouth, it was like, Oh man, we just you know let's go and shoot at Universal City Walk and have right. you know this girl just talking to you the whole time and you're singing the song and it was just like boom done. It's hilarious. Um, yeah. Chicken Bone was a story kind of song, so it led lended itself to a video, but a lot of times it's just kind of. We, <laughs> we want to give everybody their moment, and it's it's become it's a learning process for us too as we take on more students and bring in more artists to figure out you know how can we split up our time and our resources to give everybody that moment and some songs you know the class just gets more excited about it or yeah. you know there's just more of a pull to, to making the music videos so. yeah and on uh, use your imagination this was our last album there's a song called what makes a better world and so that's a big group song so a lot of times we'll do like a big group number where we get to feature everybody yeah. And uh, that one's really amazing. If you can go on the website, check out. Mm. Uh, now, is what that makes the one you world. did on Earth Day? Yeah. yeah. That you did the big Earth Day? Yeah. We okay. Started so I always, you know, you know how you have a friend who calls you at the wrong time always. Mm. How that everybody has that. I got to tell you, you guys are that friend to me because <laughs> always, like, I want to do things with you always, and I'll get an email, and it's always on a day or time that I cannot do that. I loved. I got this email that said, you know, come and take part, and you were having. People People all converge on one place to do this video. It was like celebrating Earth Day and Autism Awareness Month together and let's just make a peaceful, like dress up like hippies in the park and just have like a, a really good time. And it sounded <laughs> like the most fun day and that everybody wanted to be there and I wanted to be there, but we already had something that day and that, now I can't remember what it was, but it was something like I couldn't get out of like my son's band concert or something. It was like I mean? a Monday afternoon. Yeah, we were in, ex we, we got a it, lot of people, like, way more than we thought we would to show up. So it was actually cool. But yeah, we it was like a Monday at four o'clock or something. Uh, yeah, there was yeah. something that we that we absolutely couldn't do it. And then when you had your spec fest, it was at the exact time that my son's birthday party was starting. And mm. and there were people who were calling me up and going, "How could you do this? <laughs> you want to go to spec fest?" And I was like, "They didn't tell me until after I made." So uh, this year, I'm not making his birthday party plans until you tell me. We'll okay, announce cool. spec fest when like spec fest uh, is. six months prior. We'll like we'll could make you sure let to get me a know, date and down. I will make Surely. sure that I don't schedule something. Yeah. On it will be in May every year. I want to come. To that, you know, but. actually, we could say right now it's always probably going to be the weekend before Memorial Day, okay? Because that just seems to work the best. It's like the weekend before Memorial Day because that's like right before summer, so that's usually when we'll have Spec Fest. Yeah, when you think of May, just think of Spec think Fest. Of May, think right. of May, think of Spec because I want to come to Spec Fest. So, and and then we should also, in case somebody has just joined us, say mm -hmm. the website again www.speclabs.org and all the videos they can find via that, correct? Uh, yes, they're all right. Point to it, great. There, yeah. So, um, but you've got a new video that's out that's <laughs> yes. particularly cool and has and, and you use particularly cool technology. Tell the mm. folks what that is. Mm. So, uh, we there was Facebook and Oculus came up with a program called VR for Good, Virtual Reality for Good. They put out an application process online. We looked at it. We said, this looks cool. Our friend Dale, shout out to Dale. Thanks, Dale. Turned us, turned us on to it. Uh, and we were like, all right, we'll submit. So I came up with this little, oh, you know, it'll be a, what we do with Spec Labs. And it'll be a fun, like, tour of what we do. And submitted it. And then a month later, they were like, congratulations. You were one out of 600 nonprofits from all over the world to be chosen 
for the VR for Good program. We're flying you to Silicon Valley, to Facebook, to Zuckerberg headquarters. The belly of the beast. <laughs> to, yeah. uh, to go through a boot camp and learn all about how to create a virtual reality video. They paired us up with a director named Roberto Giulia from New York. We met him there. He got schooled in the Nokia Ozo camera. Mm -hmm. Very um, fancy camera. And we came up with like a little outline of a story of what we were going to do. And then Garth here, basically you want to tell him what you thought Oh yeah, we, we were talking about a story and we realized a musical would be amazing. So we turned into a virtual reality musical, mini musical. It's about five minutes long. It's, and, yeah, we're kind of like a music video, but it has a musical theater vibe to it. But it's shot in 360. Now, I don't, I can't watch it yet on Oculus, but I can watch it on my phone and I can move the little thing around and go mm -hmm. 360 degrees all the way around and be looking at whatever I want to that was happening during, while it's being shot. It's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah, a full, uh, it's yeah, if you don't have a headset and you can't watch it that way, you can see it on our Facebook page. On Spectrum Laboratory's Facebook page, I think I just posted it today to put it at the top. We got over five hundred thousand views yeah. on it now, um, so it's right at the top of our Facebook page. And um, yeah, you can watch it on a phone. You can move it around like this um, on your computer screen. You can click and drag around like a Spencer. I just did the Spencer's doing singing her opera. Yeah. But if you look around, then you see like us in the audience, like watching her. <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, you got to just look around. Yeah. Um, and, I got to try uh, it with a headset. I didn't realize I could put just a headset. It doesn't have to be hooked up to Oculus. Yeah, I brought one so I can show you. Okay. Because yeah. I, well, I, I watched it on my phone and thought it was really cool. I, I have to say that, you know, the VR thing for a long time, I'm a person who gets car sick on a stationary bicycle. Like it takes nothing. I'm car sick right now. I'm dizzy <laughs> right now sitting here, okay? okay? It takes nothing. You know, I don't drink alcohol. Mm. I'm just dizzy all the time. So the idea of putting on glasses and being oh, in yeah. a three-day thing, it scares me, right? But recently my son made me try Oculus and it blew my doors off. I just thought it was the most, and I didn't get at all car sick. I was probably less car sick doing Oculus. Maybe yeah. that's my alternate universe that I was supposed to be born into Oculus. <laughs> but anyway, for people who are afraid of it and don't want their kids to, to be trying it, I just, I have to say, I think it's the future of everything having to do with autism. It I is, do. it is, and we're, we're investigating, exploring more of how we can still continue that because there could be educational tools. There oh could be like, gosh, the possibilities you know, ways, are The possibilities endless. are endless. And um, yeah, the video is, uh, it's just a testament to what we do is, uh, the song, the our students created the song with Garth. We sat down and we had, had a, a great writing, writing session. session and worked at Bob's studio getting everybody in. We got, got them all in to record it. We got uh, all like, well, there was like 30 of our Spec Lab students are in the video. It's so we amazing. tried to include everybody as much as we could in the video. So well, and when you could do, th you know, 360, 360 yeah, you we had were room in... for people, right? <laughs> our, I mean, our artists were just amazing. I mean, there's, some of them were there for eight to 12 hours a day and they yeah. were just, it was like a real set really cool experience and they got they went through wardrobe they went through makeup cost like the costumes were amazing they really were and they really and they all were so professional and handled it so well and it was just it was another beautiful moment for us to realize like they really get it they want this they they oh, know I this can't is even something imagine. Cool. they had to have been yeah. so excited oh, yeah, to have yeah, that was... opportunity i mean <laughs> this is really cutting edge stuff i mean how many people do we know that have done that kind of a video you had to go to facebook to well, learn well we looked it up it. i mean we were the first ever like autism like musical or creative type of video in vr there's been like a, a couple other pieces but they're more they're not really like a a narrative like right. creative you know piece like this there's like some things are more on the educational side right but um nothing quite like this so we're we're just really proud that we were able to to to, to pull it off and, and again if people so well. go to your facebook right now they can they can look at that what is the yeah. facebook it's just spectrum laboratory facebook if you go on facebook just look up spectrum laboratory okay. you'll see our logo this logo you'll see us uh and then this picture actually the one that's behind me um, is like on the spectrum on the Facebook page, so you okay. can't miss it. Like, okay. You'll be able to find it. So I want to. I'm skipping all over the place, but I want to go back to the classes for a second mm -hmm. because sure. it's time to register for them for anybody mm -hmm. who wants to do. Yeah, them. August 21st. We start next week. And then how long do the classes last? Is it pretty much like on a semester thing? It's a, it goes it's a four into? month program. So we're going to go from the week of the of August 21st oh. to the week of December 11th. And when are they in the afternoons? Are they on Saturdays? Different classes, different times? Varies. On, on Mondays and Tuesdays, uh, it's 4 o'clock to 5.30. Okay. 
and that's right across from the Getty Center for all you Angelinos. It's um, it's at Leo Beck's campus. It's yeah. right okay. right Leo next Beck to Temple. the Getty Center off the 405. It's off the Getty Center exit. That's Is Monday it the and Tuesday. Skirball the Skirball exit? The Getty close. Center exit. The Getty Center yeah, exit. Very okay. close to Skirball. Um, okay. And then Saturday, is, then Saturday we're at Music yeah. Space Studios. Music Space Studios in Van Nuys, and we have classes going from 10 a.m. till, is it almost 5? Like 5. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's the Music Explorers, the Composition class, then it's the Band class, then it's Animation class, and then the Acting Improv class all on Saturday, like all day. Okay. And so people can, I, I know I was on your website the other day and checking that out and going, oh, look, their classes are getting ready to start. Yeah. So people can check all that out. Yeah. There is yeah. obviously a cost for them, and they're, yeah. and they're different classes, different costs, or are they all pretty much Yeah, the they're same? all different mm -hmm. costs. Okay. Yeah. And are you, you guys aren't regional center vendors. We're working on working it. We're working on it. Yeah, working on it. Yeah, Would you get it. that, please? Yeah. Yes, there are people yeah. who want yeah, that. Yeah, for I our mentorships, yeah. we're kind of been able to because it's you know, we, but we're working on trying to get the classes. So yes. we're 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 going through it. We're it takes we're, a while. It takes a while. Thank you for doing it because yeah. it's a lot of hard work, but yeah. it, it's helpful to those families it's that crucial, need yeah. to be able yeah. to do that. That's Definitely. a fabulous thing. Yeah. You guys are amazing, uh, <laughs> and that. and you do amazing things, and mm, you thanks. inspire our kids to do amazing things. I just, uh, I'm a little jealous. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous because it looks like it's so much fun. Um, well, yeah, as Bob, are you having as fun? Bob says, we gotta just have fun while we're doing it, and yeah. to grow and to just keep just as long as we're having fun, then everything's right, and as long as we have it with intent. And heart and right. just and trying the kid, to and the yeah. kids are having fun yeah. you know and they're they're getting so much out of it that's all that matters absolutely it's, it's an open door though Shannon I mean, yeah, you come, can come be a part of it yeah. <laughs> you, you know what you look like a music explorer <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of sensing that come get some aggression out on some drums yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, uh, I, we'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah. Love you. Uh, cameo in one of our films. Oh, awesome. yeah. Oh, man. I so. No, I want to shoot something. I, I want to come Like and, a little green screen. Yeah, in we can here. do whatever. Uh, please. Well, I want you to come and collaborate whenever you want. Uh, no, my master's degree is in theater. I used to teach college acting and, uh, and I used to teach improv and all those things. And somehow I, you know, I'm doing this. And, I, and everybody always says, I don't understand why you are. And I'm like, because this is what happened. Uh, but I look at what you do and I just go, oh my gosh, that looks like a great deal of fun. That looks like a really good time. It, it uh, is. I, yeah. That's why I say I'm a little I jealous. S I They're plotting a against me. Over there. <laughs> a I, I would love to come and teach. I just, uh, I just don't think I have the magic that you guys have, and you I'm just, and magic. I'm going to be honest about that. That I no think way. that uh, that you guys have something really special um, that not everybody has. Let's be honest about that. Um, and mm -hmm. you know, I I think about. Atticus Baldwin came and was on our show just when you guys were getting ready to do the 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 show that you guys do with him. Yeah. And I met Atticus and I just was like, oh my gosh, this kid needs his own show. <laughs> and, I, and I was saying to him and to his mom, you know, come and do a show here. And, and mom was like, no, they already have plans. They're already working on right. something. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, but good. You know, I mean, definitely do it. But um, but I recall Atticus went out in, afterwards we were sitting, Nancy and I were talking with his mom and Atticus went out into the control room. And it was at the time that Kelby Wood was working yeah, here. Yeah, he loves Kelby. And he loves Kelby. In fact, there's a song that we were saying, yeah. is that we based on- We have a song on, on the uh, Stanley's Cure for Fear, uh, Kelby that, the Monster. That we said, uh, is that based on our Kelby? Because we, yeah. we weren't entirely it was sure. Kelby we had, the Friendly Monster. The Friendly right. Monster, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, but uh, they went out into, and, and he started asking Kelby questions. And there was just this wonderful process that happened about the soundboard that five seconds later, Atticus was having such a good time on the soundboard. And I recall his mom saying, this is the work of the two of you, that you had opened up oh. his world and, and you know, made it so that he, you know, with no fear was like, I want to know what that does. Kelby teach me right now. And Kelby was like, <laughs> let's get down to it. And, and they yeah. had a good time. A That's, good time was had. <laughs> that uh, means a lot. Well, I know it's I know it sounds a little cliche, but they've really opened up our world too. I mean, I, I didn't, we didn't realize what this community was capable of, and I had no idea what you know kids like Atticus could do, and just how talented he is. So it's 
it's just been that's one of the the best parts of doing this is just seeing the potential that's there and how much fun we can have and what we can create. Yeah, well, with Atticus, I knew he was a great singer and dancer because I did theater with him, and I yeah. knew he was, you know, big personality. But yeah, since we've been doing this, now he wants to write his own movie, make his of own movies. He, does. he wants to act and all. You know, he wants to, you know, he wants to get out there and really do it all. <laughs> um, fearless. And we're and, and he's been with us since day one, and he, we love him. And he's he's one of those people that we we want to really take along with us. He's part of the team now. Like yeah. we consider him not like a student. He's like. Yeah. He's part of the team, and we're we're going to be working with him on you know shooting more, writing more, yeah. uh, and not just on and, like getting him in more vocational and, skills and learning so, how to do it. So and, and then and then of course we'll lose him because he will go off and be a star. <laughs> yeah. well, and then we will try to get him back to the <laughs> guest in the classroom. Exactly. You know, yeah, and, and that is the truth. That is the <laughs> truth. No, I, I mean, the so, first yeah. time I saw Atticus perform. I was intrigued by the fact that his name was Atticus because we, you know, my son's name is Jem. We're all big fans of To Kill a Mockingbird, right? So right. I'm like, Atticus and Jem, it's so cute. And uh, my husband and I were like, oh, look. And there were, you know, there were multiple Atticuses. And we were yeah, like, Yeah, we had two Atticuses. So we're like, we right. have to do a web series right. now. We have to do Atticus. Exactly. And, Atticus. and uh, you know, and, and I, but I had no idea. And I watched Atticus. Both Atticuses are brilliantly, you know, talented. Yeah. Uh, but Atticus Baldwin, it never occurred to me the last name Baldwin. And then somebody said, you know, you do realize he's the next generation of the Baldwin brothers. And, yeah. and I was like, oh, my gosh, there's your genes showing up. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. you, it's yeah. clearly <laughs> runs genetically in the DNA. Yeah. Uh, but that, that kind of fearlessness and uninhibited... Yeah. you know, entertainer side. It's in a lot. Most of our students have this. Honestly. It's, and that's well, I do most, think you guys out, bubble yeah. it up. But yeah, I, I it also, out. I mean, I've been teaching for over 10 years and, and I spent a lot of time working with, with kids um, and young adults that aren't on the spectrum. And just to see within the autism community how many students are just, they don't have the fear mechanism. It's like, yeah. that's been so inspiring to just see if you set it up, they will they'll go for it yeah but there's the there's the missing thing the, if you set it up sure and that's what well, you guys it takes do. a team that's the yeah. secret sauce yeah well yeah. even temple granny going back to what she said she said it was the support of her teachers and her yes. there were some mentors around her that really lifted her up yeah so that's that's kind of what we you know what we do is we provide the mentors we provide the teachers to lift them up well, and then set them free <laughs> you know, well them, and to them. take it back to it's the yes end they need the yes mm. end from the instructors and, and i think that you guys do that you say yes and to them all and they the can time. learn it in the improv class there we go <laughs> uh there we go so uh spectrum laboratory last thoughts because we got about a minute where can they go again to get all this wonderful merch if you w want to hear the Kelby the friendly monster yeah www.speclabs.org there, there you it go. is there it and is uh, go to our facebook page mm -hmm. like share yes um, please yeah and check out our vr video and if you really love it, then there's an album with a whole bunch of other songs. The song from the VR video is on the album, and it's the cool. title of it, Use Your Imagination. Fabulous. So the VR video is called Use Your Imagination. And, and please reach out to us, um, thespectrumlaboratory at gmail.com. If you have any questions, if there's something you've seen today, you want to know more about our classes, our program, please Yeah, there's a contact a page on our website, yeah. so you can just fill that out. And We'd love to talk to you, even if you're not in L.A., wherever you're at, just to start the Absolutely. communication Fabulous. going. I, I, I have nothing but, I have nothing but <laughs> love and respect soon. for you guys and what you do. It's uh, amazing. Keep it, keep it happening.